Hey Church family, we are so excited that you're joining with us this week as we go into this Holy Week and just looking to see um, just the different days that Jesus, what he went through each day leading up to Easter Sunday. If you haven't checked out our Monday uh, devotional with David Momet, I encourage you to go back and just listen to that. Um, lots of good stuff as we head into this week. So on this Tuesday, we see Jesus uh, coming back from Bethany and, and on his way, he sees this fig tree and he, and he stops. He goes over and he's hungry and he goes over, um, but there's no fruit on this tree. And what I thought was interesting whenever I was reading through this story is what the disciples go to ask him about the fig tree and how he answers them. Um, so it's in Matthew 21, 21. Um, and he replies to the disciples in this, it says, listen to the truth. If you have no doubt of God's power, and speak out of faith's fullness, you can be the one who speaks to a tree and it will wither away. Even more than that, you can say to this mountain, be lifted up and be thrown into the sea and it will be done. Everything you pray for with the fullness of faith, you will receive. And so I love how Jesus, you know, he's, he, the disciples, just saw him do what he did to the fig tree, but he took that fig tree and he contrasted it with a mountain. And so you, you see this little fig tree, but then you, he, he takes you higher to the mountain and he focuses there. And I fully believe that there is there's beauty in the simplicity, but I do know that God is always calling us to more, that he is always wanting to take us higher and to deeper and to show new levels of him. And so whenever he, he just took this big, contrast, if you will, um, and he spoke and he said that if we don't doubt that we can move mountains because we engage our faith. Um, he showed us that just how faith can shift circumstances and even situations if we just speak it out and we don't doubt in our heart. So we can choose to have the fig tree faith or we can choose to have mountain faith. The choice is up to us and how we partner with the Lord. When I think about this week and, and the journey of this week with Jesus and, and the amount of faith and trust that he had to have in his father, he fully knew what was gonna happen to him at the end of this week, but he chose to trust in the day today. He chose to trust in that surrender and, and know that God had made a way and that he would give him everything that he needs. And to me, I can just see the faithfulness of God um, you know, knowing, just knowing everything that was going on. And I'm amazed at the level of faith that Jesus had to have during this time. I also feel like Jesus gives us this huge encouragement um, that if we simply won't doubt, we can have anything that we have for in prayer. Um, to know that we ask for anything that we ask that's in alignment with the word of God will be done because God loves us that much and he cares about what we care about, what, we, what our desires are and what we ask for in faith. So that encourages me that even the smallest things that I ask for in prayer, when God comes in and he puts his super on, the, on, the, on my natural, that big things can happen. And the smallest prayers that I think that maybe don't mean anything, God hears them and, he, and he's moving on my behalf and he can do things so much bigger and, and crazier than what I could even imagine if I will just ask in prayer, right? So today I just challenge you, what is something that you can believe God for? What is something that seems impossible that you can go before him and not doubt in your heart, but ask and believe that he's gonna, he's gonna move on your behalf? What is a situation, maybe it's at work or, or at home or over your finances that seem, seem impossible and, and, and partnering with the kingdom and, and bringing the kingdom in because um, he wants to do that. Maybe you have been praying. Maybe you've been engaging your faith and you just haven't seen the answer yet. Can I just encourage you that God hears you and he's moving. And when that, that thing that you've been praying for comes to pass, it's going to take you to a new level in your faith and you're going to grow deeper. Um, you know, sometimes it is those simple prayers that God comes in and he moves those mountains for us. So engage your faith that God like faith and call out what you're believing for today. Our God is a God of abundance and he is waiting for you to co-labor in bringing his kingdom down. 
So I hope your faith is stirred, just like the disciples were when, when they saw, uh, you know, him, him, the, the fig tree go away. But I hope it's challenged to ask for the big things because we serve a big God and he wants to bless you today. from the sky leaving heaven's throne I was meant to die you wouldn't let me go the riches of your grace I could not for my guilt has been Done.